recent release of Godzilla Minus One, it got me thinking, who is the better evil Godzilla? Would it be the brand new Godzilla Minus One, or do you think it's Shin Godzilla? We're gonna be looking at absolutely everything today. First off, though, we're gonna take a peek at Godzilla Minus One, but we saw him the other day. But I mean, I just can't get enough of this kaiju. He is absolutely menacing looking. And overall, I just feel like this kaiju is the epitome of an evil Godzilla. I mean, look at the way he's looking at me right now. That is terrifying. <laughs> But I mean, when we think of evil Godzilla, we can't really not mention this one right here. We've got Shin Godzilla, and this, before Godzilla Minus One, was my epitome of evil. Not only evil, but just like super scary in general. Like, if we just get a close zoom up on his face right here, that's, well, kind of looks goofy, but it's also kind of terrifying. Especially those ginormous teeth going around the entire face. And then you got all the spikes and whatnot. And the tail, my boy, I, I mean, he just looks evil, bro. I mean, if something has a mouth on its tail, his kind of, in the game, kind of looks like a horse's mouth. But you know what I'm saying, man? He just looks evil and looks like he just wants to destroy pretty much everything. So today, we have one mission and one mission only. Decide who is going to be the most evil Godzilla that we have in this game. Let me know who you think it's going to be in the comments. We're going to be comparing everything from the swimming that they do, from the moves that they have, and of course, how they battle later on in this video. But first, let's go ahead and do some moves while we're over here with Shen Godzilla. We've got the number one move, which is a giant bite. The number two move, which is the devastation. And that is a giant tail whip. The number three, which I'm pretty sure is the back beams, right? Let's go ahead and focus on that. Yep, pretty sick move, and it does a lot of damage. We've got the number four move, which actually starts off as the fire, right? Yep, he's got that fire breath to start off. And then, of course, if you press four one more time, you got the beam, man. The infamous purple slash pink beam that does a lot of damage and destroys a lot in the city. And then last but not least, for the moves that actually do some damage, we've got the number five move, which is the tail beam from the mouth that looks like a, a horse's mouth. Sorry, I gotta disrespect you like that, Shin Godzilla. Let me know what you think about it, though. L let me hear a roar. We got the gods incarnate here. And the, the mouth of Godzilla, or Shin Godzilla, I've never gotten over the fact that it kind of looks like a snake. I don't know if you all feel the same way or not, but let's go ahead and hit the other roar. It's the death arrival. Maybe I can see it in the... Okay, there we go. Now you can see my boy. Look at the mouth split up like that. That's terrifying. Now that we've done all of that, first of all, let me go ahead and hit the V move. Just in case you guys don't know what it means or what it does, he basically goes to sleep, right? And he gets his energy. Well, actually, it decreases his energy. I had 60 out of 60. But doesn't it heal you too or something like that? I forgot what it really does. How does he fight though? Well, we got a little Godzilla, the first version of Godzilla right here. He's probably trying to get, uh, you know, Godzilla minus one. But for right now, he's not going to be able to. Shin Godzilla is here. By the way, I don't know if you all saw that or not. But that move with the back beams, now that I have him upgraded to, you know, level 100 and his damage up, it does over a thousand damage. All right, well, we destroyed that Godzilla, but now I'm getting jumped by old Mothman over here. I got eyeballs everywhere. And actually, hold up, Mothman. I'm gonna go ahead and body you real quick, big fella. Look at him. He thinks he can just fly away from me. My boy, I got that horse tail for you. Actually, never mind. It shot behind me. I thought it shot in front of me, too. That was okay. I, I did that way wrong. Okay, here we go. Mothman is coming back down. You see, he just flying away right now. My boy's kind of scared that I would be, too, to be honest. And there we go. And my boy got dropped off. Let's go ahead and see Godzilla Minus One's moves. Hey, yo, hold up. Before we do that, though, I see a, a recolored Godzilla Minus One in front of me. That thing looks kind of crazy. And since the video is Godzilla Minus One versus Shin Godzilla, let's go ahead and do a quick battle, even though I had no HP. Let's see if we can somehow clutch it up and get the, the dub. Okay, I've got 100 HP being jumped. Yeah, I'm dead. I think it's inevitable at this point that every time we join a lobby, we're getting jumped. Anyways, let's see minus one's move. We've got the number one move, which is a giant right hand. But if you didn't know, if you press it again, it's a giant left hand. And then if you go ahead and press it one more time, you have another, you basically have three moves with number one move, which is that right there. You can pretty much launch at somebody. The number two move, I'm not going to pronounce it, but we've got this right here. We've got the tail whip, which kind of lags. I'm sure they're going to fix that soon. We can hit number two again, which pretty much does the same thing but the other way. But if we hit it one more time, you can see Mecha G right here, right? We can hit him with a giant tail slam and it does about almost 800 damage. Hey, yo, by the way, that Mecha Godzilla should be ashamed, bro. I had like a thousand HP and I still got that man. All right, back to what we were doing though. We've got the number three move, which is this right here, you know, a giant stomp. But then that immediately switches to his best number three, which is this move right here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with this Godzilla right in front of me. You can see it, it just shoots right in the air. And I'm pretty sure it starts falling, right? Yep, there we go. In the sky, you can see it raining. Godzilla minus one's atomic breath. Or 
whatever that is. It's basically like an acid rain. And it doesn't hurt us, but if anybody is in the vicinity of us, they, they pretty much just get consistently damaged. All right, we got two more moves with my boy. We've got the number four move, which is this right here. You can see the spikes popping out of the back. Explosions. And look what happens to the ground. We've got that heat popping from the earth. And if people walk through it like this guy right in front of me, they pretty much get set on fire. Look at my boy. He's on fire right now. And then we've got the number five move, which I'm, I'm hoping I can hit before I die here. Okay, I didn't get it. Which I guess that means Florida's got to get it. Imagine seeing this thing coming out of the water, by the way. That was terrifying alone. But now let's go ahead and see that number five move once again. It's basically the atomic breath with the spike shooting out of the back, but with an explosion at the end. Watch what happens. The giant explosion at the end of the atomic breath. Oh, and it heals you, of course. You have so many moves with this kaiju that heals. It's pretty awesome. But now it's time to do some battles with my boy, ladies and gentlemen. We've already dropped off this first version of Godzilla in front of me. And we've got another one fighting me, but I already had half HP, brother. I'm probably getting dropped off here. But it's okay. Maybe if we can hit this number four move real quick. We can get him. Oh, I got him. Let's go. Godzilla minus one. I love his moves. Let me know whose moves that you like better, by the way. Do you like Godzilla minus one? Or do you like Shin Godzilla's better? And let's go ahead and do the roars, by the way. If I don't die first, everybody just jumps your boy. Let's hit the team move real quick and see the true strength and power of my boy. Imagine this just roaring in your face. Like, no thank you. I'm good off that. We got one more roar, though. We've got the purifying rage. And that right there, that's one of my favorite roars in the game. He just looks powerful. But is he more powerful than this crazy guy right here? Speaking of crazy guy, I've got a burning Godzilla following me. So let's see what my boy's trying to do. We've got burning Godzilla who's... Okay, he's gonna already start off with that move. Versus Shin Godzilla. Hurry up and hit that beam clash real quick, big fella. Now we're gonna put some damage on him. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys. Shin Godzilla is definitely gonna win this battle. Actually, I hit the tail move on accident and it did no damage. So now he's got a lot better chance than what he just had. And... Okay, yeah. Now, now I'm getting jumped. Why is it always me? Uh-oh, here's the battle we've been needing to see right here. We've got Godzilla minus one as ourselves, and we've got a white version of Shin Godzilla hitting a roar in front of me. So who's going to take it home? I will say this guy's Shin Godzilla is only at a level nine, so it's going to be pretty tough for him. Hey, yo, hold up. I've got three Shin Godzillas over here, actually. So now I'm getting ultra super jumped with Godzilla minus one. We're still going to try, though, bro. Come on. I'm dead already. Uh-oh, um, we're back. I wouldn't say better than ever, though, because we now have five Shin Godzillas here. Um, I just want to fight one of you, okay? Somebody, please, I'm just going to hit one of them and see if he fights me instead of all of them. Here we go. We've got an atomic breath, and it should be exploding here in a second. There we go. But the bad news is he did just hit me. Okay, never mind. It's going crazy now. Literally, everybody is fighting. I'm going to hit this uh, move that rains atomic. Yeah, I'm dead already. What is this game? The last thing we need to do here is get a battle going between Shin Godzilla and Godzilla Minus One. And I'd like to be able to do it with both characters. So let's see if we can find a Godzilla Minus One. Hey, yo, time out. There's one literally across the city. Let's see who wins, Shin Godzilla or Godzilla Minus One. Let me know in the comments. Who is taking it home? He's healing already. I, I don't know about that move off the rip. Well, let's see. We've already done over a thousand damage to him and then hit the back beams, which somehow didn't land. That's all right, though. The tail did land. And here we go getting jumped again. Bro, I cannot avoid getting jumped in this game. It's impossible for me. I don't know what's happening, but we are almost going to body my boy. OK, we got him. I think we No, I actually lost somehow. So you know what? We switched things up a little bit. We've got Godzilla minus one. And I think I see a Shin Godzilla right behind these buildings. And already off the rip, though, I'm getting hit by a Gojira. I cannot go anywhere without getting jumped, bro. Here we go, though. We, we've got a Shin Godzilla in front of me. He says, I'm here. And I'm already getting hit by his fire breath. This is not a good start for me. And he's at level 100, which is really good. So, okay, here we go. I've got two Shin Godzillas. It's all right, though. Come on, minus one. You can do this, buddy. I don't actually know if you can do this, but I've got faith. Yeah, he can do this, guys. Godzilla minus one. Actually, we've got the healing going on, but he landed his tail beam. That's the end of this video. Let me know who you think in the comments is the better evil kaiju. You got Shin or you got Godzilla minus one? Maybe one day we don't get jumped. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, goodbye. I got a new fashion. This is a new day. Look at your bouquet